Hello and welcome to this exercise uh, which involves uh, solving an equation and also uh, finding maximum minimum points. Uh, it is in effect an it is in effect a GCSE question. Now what I've done here is sometimes I've rephrased the question to show how it might be shown in an IGCSE or an S level mathematics paper. Okay. Now here we go. Uh, it says the graph of y is equal to s cubed minus 7x plus 4 is shown. This is how it, this is, how it is asked for the GCSE question the paper. Uh, this is the graph here. Now note here that the graph has got uh, grid lines there. Now for IGCSE, uh, the question might be phrased, plot the graph of f of s equal to s cubed minus 7x plus 4. Right? Now, they might just give you uh, a table with ordered pairs with some empty spaces for you to fill in. Also, in that case, you've got to be very careful because you've got s cubed there, but there's no x squared. So you've got to be very careful when you plot such a graph. Okay? Now, moving on, it says, uh, use the graph to solve the equation s cubed minus 7x plus 4. This is the GCSE version. Now, for IGCSE or S level math, it might say something like uh, solve uh, f of x equal to 0. So, in, in other words, you want to find where this uh, graph because the x axis or the line y is equal to 0. So, we've got values of minus 2.9, 0 0.6. Uh, 2.3 there. Now in the mark scheme, there is a generous plus or minus 0 0.2. So it can't actually go wrong because uh, minus 2.9 plus 0 0.2 give you uh, minus 2.7. So that's 2.25, 2.5, 2.75 and 2.7 is somewhere there. So you got to be actually asleep to get it wrong there. And minus 3.1 is there. So it can be wrong. So it's a generous two marks there. Okay. Moving on, section B, uh, it says, for this function, uh, show that when x is equal to 6, y is greater than 100. This is the GCSE version. Now, for IGCSE, it might just say, show that f of 6 is greater than 100. So, in both cases, what you then do is you substitute uh, 6 in the original equation there. I end up with uh, 178, which is true. Right, next section, uh, it says the line y is equal to k means the graph more than once. Okay, and it says find the maximum value. So, you know, uh, for IGCC, you might just say f of, x equal, f of x is equal to k means the graph more than once. Right, now, because you've got a grid line here for GCSC, you might just use up this point there. So that'll give you the maximum point there. And uh, this is 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, so just above 11, so 11.1 .1 there is the answer. Now, for IGCSE or for A level, where this uh, where these grid lines are not there, you might have to find the gradient of the tangent to the maximum point. So dy dx equal to 3x equal to 7 when you differentiate this bit here. That's what you get when you differentiate that or that there. This is for IGCSE or for GC or for A level. In GCSE, to my knowledge, there's no differentiation involved. So because that's the tangent uh, parallel to the x axis, you may have that uh, three x squared minus seven is equal to zero, and you end up with x having the values of plus or minus uh, the square root of seven over three, and that gives you plus or minus one point five two seven five. That the question is which of these? plus or minus will give you the maximum minimum value. You will then substitute this value, okay, into the second derivative, which is 6x. So, uh, suppose x is plus 1.5275, you end up with 3.692, and that gives you, that's positive there. That suggests that using the value of one plus 1.5275 will give you the minimum point, which is there somewhere. Okay, now for the maximum point, if you substitute my, minus 1.5275 into the second derivative, you end up with a negative value. That gives us the maximum point there. So we use this value of minus 1.5275, 
and substitute into this the original equation there that will give you the value of k and that's what we got there so k is equal to minus 1.5275 or cubed minus 7 times minus 1.5275 plus 4 and we get 11.12 so that value there the k value or the y is equal that's line for y is equal to k will be y is equal to minus 11.12 now in the actual answer itself in the mark scheme the answer is 11.1 .1, so we're not that far off okay i hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe and thank you for watching and bye bye now